actions happen every time and everywhere around us. Even their slightest or smallest movement, chemical reactions will always be present. But how does this occur in our daily lives? In our homes, numerous chemical reactions take place. Starting with plants. Plants undergo a process called the photochemical reaction or the light reaction. We all know that plants contain a huge number of chloroplasts in their leaves. Let's zoom in. When the chlorophyll molecules absorb light energy from the sun, some of its electrons experience an increase in their energy level, resulting to their emission from the molecule. Energy from these electrons are then released step by step through the electron transport chain. Some of this energy is used to form ATP that provides energy for the various processes that occur in plants. In the end, hydrogen and oxygen are both released into the atmosphere. When you are baking bread or cookies, do you observe that it turns into a brownish color after some time in the oven? How about its delicious flavor and aroma? Well, this is actually a result of the reaction between the sugars and amino acids in food called the Maillard reaction. The Maillard reaction is a chemical reaction between an amino acid and a reducing sugar, usually requiring the addition of heat. Like caramelization, it is a form of non-enzymatic browning. The reactive carbonyl group of the sugar interacts with the nucleophilic amino group of the amino acid and interesting but poorly characterized odor and flavor molecules result. This is supported by the change in color, aroma, and flavor of the food product. Did you know that the rotting of bananas also has a chemical reaction behind it? This is because the polyphenol oxidase and other iron-containing chemicals in bananas reacted with the oxygen in the air, causing the fruit to turn brown. This process is commonly known as oxidation. Fun fact! Did you know that wine is a product of fermentation? First, the sugar solution will react with the yeast, resulting in the breakdown of sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide will then escape into the air, leaving the fermented beverage to react to the wild yeast present in the air. The final product will either be a dry or sweet wine, depending on the duration of the fermentation period. Another example of this is yogurt that was produced when the bacteria fermented lactose into lactic acid. The burning of food also has a chemical reaction behind it. The burning of food is considered a chemical reaction since the presence of heat and oxygen makes the wood transform into carbon dioxide, ash, and water vapor. This process is called combustion given that oxygen is present and it reacts with another substance to give off heat and light. Some other examples of this are the burning of diesel for the vehicle's use and the burning of wax candles. Chemical reactions are very beneficial in our daily lives. Without this, we won't have anything to eat or to keep our surroundings clean. We should always keep in mind that these chemical reactions have either a good or a bad outcome and it is up to us to do everything in our power to reduce the negative effects of these chemical reactions such as air pollution caused by the combustion involving the burning of garbage and other materials that are harmful to Earth because this is our planet.